All right, a lot of progress on the controller uh, circuitry here. So I've got a, um, I've, well, I've got the lithium polymer battery charger hooked up, and it's charging up this battery pack right now. And the, um, the charger features a pin that lets you hook up an LED to it, so you can just show if it's charging or not. And then you can also just hook up that pin to the microcontroller to determine if it's charging or not, and maybe show it or you know do something differently because you have more power available to you. But uh, so that's that's working great, and at the, um, the the maximum charge rate on it is 500 milliamps, and it doesn't feel warm at all to the touch. It just feels like room temperature, so it's it's handling it just fine, and uh, it's charged the battery up from 3.8 volts all the way up to uh, 4.16 so far. So it's working, uh, it's working real good. Um, one trick that I, I came across, though, in the, uh, the data sheet for it, so on the, the very first page of the data sheet for this battery charger, they have, a, um, they have a little diagram here to show you how to hook it up. And I didn't notice that the, um, the, the, the way that they had put the pins here was out of order. This is the actual ordering of the pins. So pin one, the status um, pin, is um, is right down here on this this uh, schematic. So that was a little tricky. I, I hooked it all up and it wasn't working right, and I was going off of just hooking up the way that it was it was shown here without looking at the, the little numbers or the, uh, the descriptions of the pins, and it noticed that. Um, it was different. So that was tricky, but I uh, got that figured out. And then um, the other cool thing that I got going was the uh, OLED display. So there was a library, um, let's see who, who wrote this library, uh, Phil Grant. Um, it's Phil Grant's library. He's got a little example of how to use it here. And I just um, took it and got it plugged into the uh, the program I had started uh, for the controller and now when I rotate the knob here it will it'll wake up the microcontroller and then it will show the contrast level and you can change the contrast level by rotating the knob you can actually adjust the contrast in 256 steps but I just made three uh, just for ease and maybe I'll make these automatic I don't know. I started thinking about it, and I do have a bag of um, photo resistors, so I could detect the light and adjust it accordingly. So I uh, might might mess around with that. Um, the one little trick that I'm I'm running into with this is that when you um, turn it off, it's still drawing some power. So the microcontroller is totally asleep right now, but it's um, the whole board is drawing 3.42 milliamps. You know, excluding the battery charger, that's not in, in this this uh, power meter here. So when I wake it up, if I rotate the knob here, I put it on high, it goes up to 40 milliamps. But then, after 10 seconds, it'll it'll go back to sleep again. And rather than going back down to uh, 80 or so microamps, it's staying at 3 milliamps. And then if I come here and I unplug one of the power lines to the display, then it goes back down into the microamp range. So I, uh, I think I, um, I might have to do the thing that I did with the kitchen timer and hook up a transistor to, uh, to switch the power on and off of this display. Or maybe there's some way to actually turn all the way off. Uh, I'll have to go look through the data sheet and see if it's there. But the um, the library doesn't have a, a feature to do that, so maybe I can find a command in the data sheet that can do that can turn it a little bit more off. But anyways, it's uh, it's uh, working really good. Uh, very happy, very easy to use display, very readable. So uh, charger is working great, and the display is working great.